Hey guys, it's Rumbling Man coming to you today from Florida. And in this video, we are going to take a good look at and we are going to hear the SX Hawk with P90 pickups. Very cool. So guys, I thank you for coming to my channel today. Got a very cool guitar uh, to review and, and to hear some demos of today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the SX Hawk with P90s. MN from Maple Neck, or Maple Fretboard is what that means. It's a Canadian Maple Neck. A very beautiful, glossy, uh, vintage tint kind of finish. Um, I've been so curious about these for such a long time, and I want to shout out to my friend Jeff. Uh, I own this guitar, I actually bought it from Jeff. Um, it's very cool. I've been curious about the SX Hawk uh, because they're uh, SX Guitars uh, Strat style uh, instruments and I've looked at a lot of videos uh, on YouTube and they've always seemed really cool and so I decided it was time to have one for myself and uh, Jeff gave me a good deal and I appreciate that very much. If my voice sounds a little blown out today it's because it is but don't worry about that actually you should be getting pretty good audio here. I'm talking to you on a fine fine uh, wireless lavalier lapel mic uh, so the receiver is actually off to the side today. Uh, very cool. It's wireless. You can grab one too on Amazon for about 40 bucks. Link is in the description. I think it's so cool uh, what they're doing with wireless technology these days and how they're making it um, available at an affordable rate because before this I never had a lavalier uh, lapel mic before. So very nice. Let me know if you think it sounds good. Um, if you follow my channel for a long time, you know that SX Instruments and I go way back. I originally found out about them from the Max Proud channel. And in fact, from like six years ago, you can still see my first ever review of an SX instrument. It was a uh, SX precision kind of bass. Uh, very cool. And uh, in fact, I've got a whole playlist um, of instruments that are SX guitars and basses. And you can click here to see more SX stuff I reviewed. And I hope there will be more stuff in the future. Um, you know, you've always been able to get SX guitars and basses uh, on Rondo Music's website. And as of right now, you still can find some on there, but as far as the future looks, I don't know if maybe they're gonna phase out or not because I'm not seeing as many SX products on Rondo's website as I used to see. So, I mean, we'll find out. And I don't know where else you can get these brand new. I did order one on Amazon one time, but I think that was by way of Rondo, so I'm not sure. But they're, they're wonderful instruments, and I think what really draws people to these guitars and basses is that they look great, they feel great, and they sound great. Uh, at a very, very low price. I mean, this is about a $150 guitar, maybe a little less than that. Um, so, you know, it, the quality has always really astounded me because honestly, if you put one in my hands, I just might tell you that it's a vintage Fender. Now, I know that that's an extreme statement, but I grew up playing, you know, Fender Stratocasters and Fender basses that felt a lot like these. Um, so they really are cool. They really are great quality for the price. The SX Hawk Strat style guitars are actually really great sounding uh, instruments. When I was at Jeff's place the other day, um, I played his SX Hawk, which is three single coils. And man, I was just amazed. I had picked up a number of, uh, of his strats just sitting there when I was trying uh, guitars out while he was doing an adjustment for me. And you know, I had plugged in some Squires and Samix, you know, some other lower end things. And then I plugged in this SX Hawk and I was like, wow, it just blew me away, you know, those single coils. And the P90s are no exception. I mean, they sound absolutely wonderful. And we're definitely going to let you uh, hear these a bit today. I really love the newer headstocks from SX uh, with kind of the curve on it. For a while, they had a real blocky headstock. Um, and I've had a couple, you know, guitars and basses with that kind of headstock. But I think this is a lot, a lot nicer to look at. Um, I actually call these boutique 
Because, you know, how many people out there, uh, you know, don't know that it's not boutique? I mean, it looks like a boutique guitar if you don't know what SX is. But, you know, who doesn't want P90s in a Strat? I got to tell you, man, for, for whatever kind of music you want to play, worship music, it's great. Uh, just, uh, you know, a solid body guitar with a couple great sounding P90s. Uh, with a tremolo and man you can do so many cool things i mean if you're into surf style music uh, this is excellent for that uh, praise and worship music um, all kinds of music really can be done very well with this guitar and so far i'm having a great experience with it it plays great um, it feels great to play and honestly i'm not having any major tuning problems with it um, it's really cool. I've, act I've actually got some pretty heavy strings on it. These are, uh, I believe, some D'Addario Jazz Lights. Uh, they're about a 12 gauge string. I might go back to a lighter gauge, but I'm just trying these out. And this uh, particular Hawk is in vintage white and comes with this really cool tortoise pick guard. And everything on this guitar, other than the strings, guys, is stock. Um, I really like the uh, SX seal tuners with their logo on them. Uh, also the SX back plate. I think it's cool how they uh, how they sport the SX logo on it all. Um, not a super lightweight guitar, but also not super heavy either. Um, it's going to be kind of in the in-between. I've, I've held heavier strats and I've held much lighter strats as well. I'm going to say it leans a little more toward heavy than it does light. Um, but yeah, the vintage white color is sweet. You can tell it's just kind of got that hint of yellow or in certain lighting. I've got natural, beautiful natural light coming in this room today and it, it almost gives it like a greenish texture. I can't say enough good things. I mean, obviously, you know, they cut corners somewhere, and have I ever run into trouble with an SX instrument? I have at times, but though there's the occasional snag, I mean, what you get for not a lot of money at all is really, really cool. So also shout out to Alan Brown, Bully the Kid. He did a really, uh, a really fun broadcast with me recently in which we uh, talked about SX instruments a little bit. Um, get, they're great instruments to mod, you know, if, if you really love the wood and, uh, and think they're cool, but you want to put some higher end pickups in them, uh, they're great for that stuff. Um, so this is cool. At this moment in time, now it is May 20th or something, 2019 right now, uh, they do have these available on the Rondo website right now, um, and I'll link that up. Um, and then if they're no longer available in Rondo and I find out somewhere else where you can get them, then I'll link that up uh, in the description as well. These guitars and basses are made in China. Um, a lot of people like Chinese instruments, a lot of people don't. Uh, for me, it's never been about, you know, what country a guitar is made in. It's been about, does it hold up? Uh, does it stay in tune? Does it sound great? Does it feel great? And to me, this guitar covers all those bases. It's got a two-way truss rod in it. And kind of the hope with the two-way truss rod is that it'll offset maybe some changes that can happen with humidity and stuff. Very nice Canadian maple neck. And these P90 pickups uh, are what Rondo is calling their uh, high-quality P90 pickups. And to me, they definitely do have a high-quality sound to them. You know, if, if I closed my eyes and listened, I would never say that they were any kind of budget pickups. I'd say that they were really good sounding P90s. Obviously, it's a Strat style body, hence the SX Hawk and a uh, vintage fulcrum bridge here. We got six individual saddles, which is uh, really great for intonation. The neck is a four bolt uh, with the added rosewood for stability. And this ultra fast uh, maple fretboard has 21 jumbo frets on it. Just all in all, a very cool instrument. Um, I'm really enjoying it, so um, obviously you want to hear it a little more, so uh, let's do a couple demos real quick and see how it sounds. So obviously you already heard uh, kind of a sound clip toward the intro of this video, but I know you want to hear more of what the guitar can do and some of the versatile tones that it has to it. So first let's go with rock, and what I want to do is I'm going to go to the bridge P90 pickup uh, here in this Hawk, and uh, crank on some distortion with some thrashing drums and bass and see what kind of rock tunes you could get with this thing. Let's check it out.
Very, very cool. It's interesting. I like how that sounds. Uh, for rock and that kind of music, which I've played a lot in my life, I'm actually more likely to pull out a Telecaster because I love that hot bridge pickup for that kind of stuff or something with humbuckers. However, you know what? This thing does stand on its own and you can, as you just saw, you can play uh, rock music with a couple P90s. But I like P90s best for how they sound for clean tones. Uh, in particular, you know, ambient uh, tones with a lot of reverb and delay, uh, i.e. worship music, praise and worship music. That's actually kind of the main genre that I play. And uh, so I, what I want to do right now is a little, uh, a little clip uh, with uh, kind of a style that's going to be, um, it's going to sound similar to, you know, worship music, kind of a worship music style sound. And uh, try our different array of effects and pickup combinations on this thing. And let's see if it can get those ambient tones down and if this guitar indeed has a great sound for worship music. Let's check it out. So really cool. I love the tones you can get with this thing, especially uh, at the price point. Just incredible. Just incredible for the price point. So uh, let's do one last demo. I know, you know, with a with a three single coil Strat style guitar, like an SX Hawk or anything along those lines, you're going to be uh, very likely playing blues or some type of rhythm and blues music. So what I want to kind of do in this next demo is I'm going to kind of do a fusion and I'm going to roll a few different types of rhythm and blues music into one. Uh, and just do a couple tracks with this guitar and just kind of see if it can cover that bass with the P90s. And I have no doubt that it probably can very, very well. Uh, and you know what? Uh, this will not be a pre-made track, so I'm going to just play some bass right here. I'm going to grab a bass with uh, some flat wound strings and play it just to uh, kind of add a cool vibe to it. So let's check it out and see how it sounds. enjoyed today's review, go on and give me a thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go on and hit that subscribe button as I review uh, basses, guitars, pedals, amps, you name it, strings, everything. Uh, do some tutorials and stuff. So we have a lot of fun here on the Rumble Man channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. You can also hit me up on some social media. I got links in the description to my Instagram and my Facebook where you can see pictures I'm taking at gigs or just hanging out and recording, things like that. I'm trying to advance my channel as much as I can and continue to make upgrades. I'm very blessed in this room where I actually don't even need uh, like camera lighting in here because I've got these beautiful window panels and natural light coming in, but it does make it a little harder to make a video at night. So I'm needing upgrades and things of that nature so that I can bring you the best image I possibly can and so that we can make the Rumble Man channel everything that it can be. If you're interested in helping by being a monthly patron or uh, by a one-time donation via PayPal, I've got links in the description to those things uh, and I would appreciate any help you can offer. However, there is never any pressure to do that. Even if all you do is give me a thumbs up and subscribe, I just appreciate anything you're willing to do to be part of this community uh, on the Rumbling Man YouTube channel. So um, thank you so much for checking out this demo today. God bless you and I will see you on the next video.